Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about eight words and phrases that are very common in the United States. This doesn't mean that some of these aren't also common in other English-speaking countries, but if you watch much American TV or movies, these are some words and phrases you will definitely hear quite often. Also, you might already be familiar with some of them, so for each one, I will first show you an example and let you guess what the meaning is. After that, I will explain the word or phrase and any variations it might have, then give you some more examples. Okay, let's get started. Yes, this is two tan. This right here. No. This is a tan spot. I don't buy it. it that is a freckle. That is not a tan, okay? I To not buy something means to not believe something or to not accept something as true. We often say this after we hear an idea or story that is too crazy or too difficult for us to believe. For example, dude, I don't buy your story about being abducted by aliens. It's just too crazy. You look me in the eye and you tell me you don't want to play football. I didn't say I didn't want to, I said I can't. I don't buy that crap. What if I don't want to do this? Don't even kid about a thing like that. Why not? What if I don't buy into this Santa Claus thing? What if I choose not to believe it? Ah, come on. Where are we going? Chelsea's. I gotta see if she comes home tonight. Okay, why am I going? Hello? I'm hammered. How's it gonna look if I get a DUI on the way to spy on my ex-girlfriend? <laughs> Hammered is slang for very drunk. For example, ah, I'm so hammered right now. Here are the keys. You drive sweater cats. Some other common words that are slang for very drunk are smashed, plastered, and wasted. So next time you have a few too many drinks with your English speaking buddies, instead of saying you're drunk, try using one of these words. Where have you been? You almost blew it. What are you talking about? I told you he had a spare key! <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's just... Wait, can't, wait, I can't drive, I'm too plastered. Here you go. I'm sorry. I'm 28 years old, I've never lived alone, and I'm finally at a place where I got enough money that I don't need a roommate anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't need a roommate either. Okay, I can afford to live here by myself. You know, I may have to bring in somebody once a week to lick the silverware. <laughs> What are you getting so bent out of shape for, huh? To be or get all bent out of shape, with the word all being optional, means to be or become very angry, upset, or offended. For example, Max was all bent out of shape when the girl he liked started dating his brother. Or, don't let yourself get bent out of shape if an internet troll insults you. Lily, I'm sorry about Amanda, but I'm just gonna say it. You are being a birthday brat. <gasps> You're all bent out of shape just because you think I ruined a couple pictures? <laughs> you just met him once and you kill him like that? But I should only kill people after I get to know them? <laughs> Max, six billion people on the planet, you're getting bent out of shape because of one fat guy. Now, for only $300, you can sign up right now for my eight-week program. A ripoff is something that isn't worth its price. For example, that t-shirt costs $40, that's such a ripoff. This can also be used as a phrasal verb, to rip somebody off, which means to cheat someone or steal from someone. For example, you paid $40 for that t-shirt, that shop owner ripped you off. Um, can we talk? What's wrong? Is it the restaurant? It's not too pricey, is it? It only had $1 sign on Yelp. No, no, no it's not that. Um, uh, although... $14 for tilapia? Sounds to me like a beer-battered ripoff. 
think that's a statue from my house. That looks like the statue from my house. <laughs> what statue? I had a statue. You have a statue? I never saw a statue. My grandfather gave me a statue. Since when? What's the difference? That's the one. He ripped me off. This guy ripped me off. <laughs> I've got the most amazing news. I'm going to New York. My agent just booked me to be a guest on that new morning talk show, The Chatter. That cheesy ripoff of The View. It's not a ripoff. It's three women discussing vital issues of the day. How is that different? Well, The View has four. <laughs> Ripoff actually has two common meanings. The second meaning is a cheap or bad copy of something. For example, if you see a really cheap iPhone somewhere, it's probably a ripoff. This meaning can also be used as a phrasal verb, to rip somebody or something off, which means to copy someone or something, or to steal an idea from someone. An example of this is, I think Chop Kick Panda might have ripped off some other movie. What do you guys think? You see, I've turned the moon into what I like to call a Death Star. <laughs> what? Nah, nothing, Darth. What, what did you call me? Nah, nothing. Rip off! Bless you. No offense, Corey, but your project looks like you ripped off that show on MTV, The Real World. I have no knowledge of this real world of which you speak. My real world is the real, real world. <laughs> To give props is short for to give proper respect, and it means to praise and show someone respect. We often say this after someone does something we think is awesome. For example, I give you props for making it this far in the video. A common variation of this expression is mad props. Mad props, bro. No, I'm not very good at this, man. Um, good at what? Uh, giving, you, uh, giving you props when you get it right. Yo, mad props on the sandwich, Dad. This PB&J is off the hook. Excuse me? In terms of that poor diet, whose fault was that? Oh, me. 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 It's my fault, for it, but look, I'm hooked on it. Yeah. Once you start eating all this uh, fast food stuff, you, you, you begin to like it, man. Hooked means addicted or strongly attracted. This can be used to talk about an actual addiction, such as being hooked on cigarettes or drugs, but it is also commonly used to describe a strong attraction, such as being hooked on chocolate, a TV show, or another person. For example, I'm hooked on Sweater Cat's delicious brownies. Do you think I wanted to spend all day learning how to use this demon box? I'm hooked on adorable animal videos. Oh, God, you're right, Brian. I'm out of control, but I don't know what to do. I'm just hooked on the rush of shoplifting. I, I haven't felt a thrill like this in a long time. Well, I think you've had enough thrills. Why don't you just put everything back, huh? So, what did you think of your first funeral? Well, I don't want to be a jerk, but it was kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah, well, when I die, you can rent a bounce house. <laughs> A bummer is something that is unpleasant or disappointing. For example, to some people, the ending to Game of Thrones was a real bummer. A phrasal verb related to this is to bum somebody out, which means to cause someone to feel disappointed or upset. An example of this is, recently, watching the news has been bumming me out. This can also be used in the adjective form, bummed out, with the word out being optional. This means disappointed or upset. 
For example, Sweater Cat is so bummed that he didn't get accepted to Cat Nepal University. Yeah, but I don't do that anymore. I, I, I got kind of sick of it, and then I couldn't come up with anything good, so they fired me. Mm, bummer. <laughs> well, look, I mean, we tried hanging out together, we tried working together, and it just bums me out. No, 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 no. We're, we're just working out the kinks. You so guys, those were eight super common American words and phrases. How many did you guess correctly? Let us know in the comments below. I also challenge you to give us an example sentence for each one you didn't guess correctly. Or if you want to, feel free to give us examples for all eight. I'm looking forward to reading them. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this lesson, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, also click the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any future lessons. Thank you for watching. See you next time.